welcome back to the channel everybody we're going to be reviewing a mower today and this one is better than average look at it it is a power smart 26 inch two blade side by side blade wide cut electric mower 80 volt now this is related if you remember about a year ago i did a review on a 21 inch 80 volt from power smart actually it's right here and what I remember from this mower is that this was the strongest electric mower I've ever used. And still to date, it still is. And what we have in this box, this is a 21 inch mower. This is a 26 inch mower. It's the big brother of this one. And so what we're going to do here now is we're going to open up the box and take a look at it, put it together and today we're going to mow with it. So let's open it up. All right, let's take a peek in there. So the really exciting part is that it is as wide as the box. Now, don't worry, I'm going to pull it out quickly. I just wanted to show how it comes shipped. Now these two boxes over here, I'm going to have to admit that I mocked up, I put back in the box because this was the battery and the charger and I'm going to use this today so I've actually got it charging and that's the battery from the last one. So I've got two 80 volt batteries ready to go and at this point let's pull everything out of here and see what we got. Here we go. Now it's looking like something. Oh, heck yeah. And as you can see, it's fully assembled. All you're going to do is swing that arm up and lock that lever. That's it. It's ready to go. The uh, side chute was sticking right over here. And I took the bagger off. It's uh, over there. And I will put it right next to the bagger on the other one to see if it's the same size. It looks a little bigger right offhand. But now... I am going to get this out of the box and look at it. All right, so it just occurred to me that this is probably the best opportunity to flip it up on its side and look at the blades. These are definitely mulching blades, multi-purpose blades. Of course, mulching blades will perform just fine on side discharge or bagging but they will give you the optimum ability to mulch when everything is closed, like it is now. See the back flap is closed and the side, clap, uh, side flap is closed, and so it is in mulching mode right now. Oh, and also here is the bottom side of the deck wash system. It just uh, sprays out of there. You hook it up to the garden hose on the other side, on the top of the deck, and then you turn the blades on, turn the water on, and it washes itself. Just want to point that out quick. So now we will flip it down onto the floor and pull the handle up and take a good look at it and compare it to that one. And there we go. So it's funny, the 21 actually has a larger rear wheel. So it's making it look possibly larger, but no, when you look at them from the front, 21 inches there and then here's the difference 26 and um, yeah you just swing the handle up swing the handle up pull it out it just telescopes and then you just clip it here with the the uh, clip and then this one here is just uh, it's a little harder to do but that's all you do and that holds it and you're set and so we are ready to mow the actual features up here at the top I will go over those at the yard um, as you all know I'm an actual lawn service so I've got a number of yards that I can uh, film in that I have permission to film in and I have a perfect side-by-side -side 
two yard thing with all applications. It's got a bunch of leaves in it right now. It's got some thick St. Augustine grass. And so we'll do the mulching, the side discharge, and the bagging. So I'll just grab my batteries. I'm only gonna bring one mower. I'm just gonna bring this one. And uh, let's go mow. All right, so here we are. We're getting ready to mow this one and this one. We'll see if the battery will do both of them. Um, but I wanna go over a few things on the mower. So under here, in case you were wondering, that's where the battery is. And I, let's see if I can hold that up. So it is just held on with this clip here. And you pull up, you pull out. There's the contacts back there. And you just match up the contacts here. Just slide it right on in like a drawer. Push it till it clicks. Like that. And you're good. But you also have to remember to put in this key. This is not a real key, it's just basically a peg. I think you could probably use a stick. But if that's not in, it will not start. So, you close the cover. And you're ready. And so, let's go over these basic controls. So the way to start it, this is the blades blade engage and this is the propulsion and this is the speed now to engage the blades press this button plus that to engage the propulsion you also press that you press this one over here and away it goes But also, you can, now I'm not gonna be able to do that while holding the camera, but as you press the propulsion, you press the uh, blade, and press the propulsion at the same time, and you are, you're moving. Now I have it turned all the way down. Let's look at the speed here. So, right there, that is the slowest it will go. But if you turn that dial up, let's go all the way. Here we go. It is now a run behind mower. And I'll demonstrate that with the uh, tripod momentarily. Let's go back. And yes, 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 it works in grass too. So we're going to try this incline first over here. You can see here we got a fairly good incline there. And we're going to see if it's just going to be able to mow up that incline and this is where we'll start our mowing. Oh yes, I almost forgot. So it is a one lever height adjustment and you've got your four adjustments. One, two, three, four and as you see I have found this mysterious fifth one that's unmarked but I'm gonna call that five it probably means transport but something I've noticed on all my other mowers is that I can mow on the transport height with no problem and what I've uh, discovered I actually at while I'm standing here away from the internet I don't remember what's the highest setting, but of course we're in Florida, so we have St. Augustine grass. This one is maintained about three and a half, and this one over here is about four and a quarter. Most St. Augustine is about four and a quarter. And I was just testing this out on one, and it looks like it's mowing at about four inches right there on that top transport notch. So you can absolutely mow St. Augustine. But for this yard over here, I think I'm gonna put it down on four or possibly three. But this area right here, I'll be mowing with it all the way up. Just wanted to go over that, but it is definitely a one lever thing where the whole thing goes up and down with one lever. All right, let's mow. Ha, ah, I heard you all saying, where was the hub cap? I found it, I put it back on.
right, no problem. I'm not used to that button holding the button down. I keep letting go of it. So anyway, so we will try another area now. It had no problem with the incline whatsoever. Okay, so right here we're going to try some regular height, nice thick St. Augustine grass. This is uh, normally maintained at four and a quarter. And I'm mowing this all the way up, which I think is about four inches. So we'll see what it does. having no trouble whatsoever and it seems to be mowing it at that seems to be about four and a quarter it looks uh, normal for me um, now what okay we're gonna call this the leaf mulching test um, these are oak leaves this yard is just full of them we're going to be uh, bagging these and we're gonna be mulching these and see what we can do with these with this mower and so I'm gonna go get the mower and mulch through there and see if they all disappear like they do with one of those other mowers that I was that I usually use <laughs> So as you can see, I mean, it mulched very good. Let's see, let's get it close there. Quite good. But now, um, oak leaves are not really good for the grass. So what you want to do ultimately is bag those. And so this section way over there, let me go over there. Okay, so here is a good example of a section to bag. Just an abundance of leaves, and now to uh, mulch this much into the yard wouldn't be good for the yard because of all the tannic acid, so we got to bag that. And at this point, we will be putting it on the bagger attachment, and so let's go way over there to show how to put that on. So to install the bagger, the first thing you got to do is lift this door up here. And what that will show you is the mulch plug. You got to take out the mulch plug. If you can. Okay, it's got it clipped down there. And out goes the mulch plug. And then you got these two little hooks there that attach to that. Where is it? little nub right there on the corner of the bag. So let's do that. And there we go. Let's cover back down and you're set to back.
Okay, let's see what we got. So that was a very full bag very quickly because of the amount of the leaves, but it sure did it. And if you saw, oh, I guess the camera wasn't showing, but it was able to suck the uh, leaves straight off of the um, road. Because sometimes uh, mowers won't do that, it'll just kind of scatter them. But it's definitely got a vacuum suction thing happening where it sucked them off the road as well. So now we do this section over here because now I'm having fun So I don't know if you heard that, but it just changed its pitch. So what happens with these lawn mowers is that when it gets into a tough situation where it's really, really thick, it uh, goes into a kind of a turbo mode and it takes extra power from the uh, battery. I'm going to try to demonstrate that again right now by going through that thick section again. So listen for it. Yep, it did it that time. I hope you heard it. So just that bagging mowing that I was just doing, and I think I did it all in real time, has filled the bucket and I don't have another bucket with me today. So that's going to end the bagging portion of the show, but if you can remember what that used to look like, it sure can bag. So the only thing left to do here is the side discharge. I'll go back over into the other yard over there and we'll put on the side discharge chute and I'll show you how to put that on and then we'll throw some grass. Okay, to do the side discharge you're going to want to take the bagger off and put the mulch plug back in. So let's do that. Remember the clip goes at the bottom. I think it won't fit in like that. And you push until it clicks and you're good. Let that go down. Come around to this side. Alright, and then you come over here and you open this little door all the way as far as it can go. And you pretend like you can do that while holding the camera. 
you see those little hooks have to go under that silver bar there. So the chute has to go pretty much straight up to get in there. You see it locked in there? Whoop! <laughs> Is it on? In a nutshell, yeah. So it's connected. And it's much easier when you can use both hands. So we tried to do a little bit of striping there at the end. It doesn't really work in Florida very well. But let me get up closer because I gotta be honest here. Now this, this isn't really this mower's fault. All side shoots, they're designed to be completely safe and so they kind of direct downward. So if you're going through thick grass, you will get this strip of grass. Hopefully you can see that. And there are ways around that. You can kind of, well, we won't talk about that, but there are ways to get that to spray better. But to be completely safe, you wanna leave it just like that. And there's an example of the side shoot dispersion. So now what? I kind of, I think I like the mulching the best. And so we'll go in the backyard and play around a little bit. Awesome. I was hoping these were going to be here. We are going to be able to do the grapefruit test. It is a grapefruit tree. Let's do it. Rest assured, it definitely passes the grapefruit test. Well, we gotta have some fun. 
All right, so I'm running out of daylight. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some mulching footage and then wrap this up. I don't think I'm going to get them all mowed today, but uh, a little bit more footage and then we'll uh, end it. Okay, I know I just said not to mulch the oak leaves down into it, but my can is full, so I, I can't have any place to put them. So we just tested the uh, kind of extreme mulching. I, I'm sure you heard it kicking into high gear several times there. Anyway, I'm running out of daylight quickly, so I'm going to grab the cheetah and finish these before the sun goes down. But I wanted to show you one more thing on the mower. Something you can do, if you lift the hood here, I keep trying to do this, but I can't get the right angle, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the header out. I wanted to show this, right here. You have the um, power indicator left. So you press this button, and it shows you that you have two out of four bars left. So after doing all that mowing, we could do all that mowing again on this charge. Now would it have finished both of these yards? I think it probably would have actually. Uh, yeah, I think so. Now I brought the other battery just in case, but you know, we'll never know. Anyway, I demonstrated it the best I can. 
I must say I'm extremely impressed. And uh, watch for it in the future because I'm going to play with this some more. So I think there's going to be another video with this. Possibly many more videos because it's actually a real joy to... Its uh, propulsion is very strong, very smooth, and the whole thing's quiet. That's why I was showing right behind the, uh, um, the handlebars, me, uh, the point of view. Um, view. To show what it's actually like, this view. And I've got to say, I'm impressed. So the link will be in the uh, description if you want to go check one out for yourself. And uh, that's all I can say. I appreciate you watching. Watch for more uh, Power Smart. Send me some more, um, another mower and a trimmer. And so watch for more videos. This is going to be fun. Thanks for watching. See you next time.